A community in Gilbert is hoping to heal after Higley High School sophomore Jacob Sanchez committed suicide 10 days ago. Reporter Izzy, uh, Sidney Eisenberg spoke with Jacob's family on how they say his death could save others. Outside of the same high school where Jacob attended, Jacob's friends and family gathered to hand out suicide resource cards and to remind students and anyone passing by that they are not alone. Last night I was downstairs by myself and I swear I could hear him scream mom and it just, it's not real yet. I know it's real, but it doesn't feel real. Jacob was 16 years old. He was described by his loved ones as funny, silly, and kind-hearted. He put everybody before himself. He never really showed what he was going through because, you know, he didn't want people to worry about him. He wanted to, like, worry about others. Jacob is just one of a growing list of Arizona teens who have committed suicide this year. According to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, Arizona ranked 12th in 2015 for suicides. 56 teens died from suicide in 2016. Since the start of the current school year in July, Christina Wynn of Project Connect 4, an organization that creates awareness, prevention, and postvention for teen suicide, says 23 teens have lost their lives. That's a classroom full of kids. That's 23 empty chairs that these teachers see, these students see, these parents know are there. Never in a million years did I ever think I would be planning a funeral for my 16-year-old son. Now Jacob's family is using his death to help others. This morning, they and others stood outside of Higley High School in Gilbert, holding signs of love and comfort. If they're struggling, that people are here, that they're loved, that, that people are listening, that we want to help. In 2015, suicide was the leading cause of death for people ages 10 through 14 and the second leading cause of death for people ages 15 through 34 in Arizona, according to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. In downtown Phoenix, Sydney Eisenberg, Cronkite News.